Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, it's letter D week, so I'm gonna show you some fun things you can do with dominoes. Of course, the first thing is just to play the regular game dominoes, which is kind of fun and pretty easy for, um, you know, if you've got little kids, obviously, uh, not too hard to play. Um, another thing you can do is a good number matching game. So, I have my pile of dominoes over there, and I'm going to take a dice. I'm going to roll the dice, and I get a two. So, now I'm going to look for all the dominoes that match and have a two. So, here's one. Here's one. Um, let's see. Where are you, twos? Here you go. Here's one. So, you could either... Uh, work together and do it or you can make it a contest if your kids are into that um, And see if you can find all of one number once you find them you can roll again and Then you've got a new number find all the ones that have a one um, So that's something else you can do um, Another thing you can do is See how many you can get into a stack now my dominoes have this funny. I don't know if you can see it They have a funny little knob in the middle of them. It's gonna make it hard for me to do it, but um, You can see let's see make it a challenge and see how many you can get into a stack here you go It's gonna be hard for me because mine are not gonna stack up nicely because of that knob, but I've got four going there. That's pretty good. Yay, Miss Linda, you've got four. I don't know if I go. Oh, I guess four is the most I can get. So make it a challenge. See how many you can get in a stack. Another good thing you can do is use them to measure things. This is called a non-standard unit of measure. So um, what I did is I found a few different things to measure and um, I used my dominoes. So, for example, I found this candle. I'm going to lay it on the table. Let me let you see it. And then I used my dominoes to see how, how many dominoes long it was. And it was just about one, two, three, four, five. If I can back up a little bit, you can see it better. Five dominoes long. So, I wrote candle five. I did a pencil and it was four. I did my whole table and it was 19. Um, I was going to do the book that we read today. Let's see, we'll move the candle. Let me set this down. So we'll do our book. Let me tip the camera so you can see it. So one, two, three, four, Five. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like the book is also five dominoes long. So I made a little chart. You could make a list. You could make a clipboard. That would make it fun. And go around the house and see what you can measure. Um, you can probably find all kinds of things. It works best if it's something that stays still. So probably not uh, like your dog or your sister, but uh, something that stays still and something that has a straight edge. Those are the easiest things. Um, the last thing you can do, well, there's probably more things than just this, but the last thing I'm going to show you is how to stand them up on end, see how many you can get in a line, and then knock them all over. So I'm going to stack mine up like this. This can be so fun. You can make them curvy. You can see if you can make a whole circle with them. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm gonna move that a little bit and we'll see. All right, we're gonna see if it's gonna work. I'm gonna tip the end one, see if I can knock them all down. Raise your hand if you think they're all gonna fall down. Oh, that's most everyone. Okay, let's see. Yay, I did it. Okay, hopefully you have some dominoes at home and you can have some fun this afternoon too. Bye-bye.